We are covering Colorado first at six for you. The state attorney general and the Catholic Church now working together to provide support to victims of sex abuse by priests. Today they announced an independent review into how the church here in Colorado has handled claims of abuse. The church will also establish a fund to pay reparations to the victims. Now the hope is to provide some comfort to those who were abused. Investigator Rick Salinger sat down with one of them and Rick, who will be in charge of this investigation? Well, Karen, the former U.S. attorney, Bob Troyer, and the former U.S. senator, Hank Brown, will oversee this probe. They will be given records by the archdiocese of those priests who have been accused of sexual misconduct going back decades. Jeb Barrett plays the organ in a church, but he no longer practices religion. It was when I was 17 that a priest um, took advantage of me as a mild sort of way to put it. He gladly welcomes the investigation announced by the Archdiocese and Colorado's Attorney General into sexual abuse by priests. The Archbishop said he hopes this will bring justice and healing. Well, helping people to restore their trust, to live their faith is essential and to help them have a deeper encounter with Jesus Christ. Among those who may be in the Archdiocese records is former Reverend Patrick O'Liddy. He was convicted in an internet solicitation case back in 2002. Rick Salinger from Channel 4. I'd like to talk to you about no why you left Thank the priesthood. You. Barrett warned this won't be an easy investigation. The Catholic Church uses uh, um, euphemisms, secret codes, in, in their records and speaking about such things as abuse. He says his partner was abused by a member of the clergy and later committed suicide. I have known so many men who have killed themselves when the memories came back and they, the traumas refelt, and they didn't know what to do with it. He says the abuse against him occurred in the state of Montana. Anyone with any information for this investigation is asked to contact those that are involved. We have a link on our website. The report is due out this fall. Live at the Archdiocese headquarters in Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.